Alrighty, peeps. Here we are with Mr. Potter. Let's go ahead and head on into the wizarding world. So, I don't really have any plans on what to do today, but I uh, guess we'll see how everything turns out. I uh, hope you guys all enjoyed the first video. It was quite an interesting edit, because I have yet to edit a game. Well, I mean, I've edited games like this before, but I haven't uh, edited this game yet, so it was kind of interesting. I guess first thing we're going to have to do... <sighs> That's right, we haven't... Uh... We haven't found the second boss yet or killed it. So, now that I have hiccups, as I start playing, first thing we're going to do is go ahead and get into making, I guess, a little bit of a... platform-ish. I don't like that. You know what? I did beat the first boss, so here I should be able to make the pickaxe, right? Antler pickaxe. Yep, right there. Pow! Nice. Well, so let's actually get this sorted out properly. There we go. That's much better. What do you want, Huggin? You have crafted a pickaxe. Black forest is rich in minerals. There you can find copper in the ground and tin lining the ocean shore. Now go forth and strike the earth. I shall do that some other time. For now, I want to get a little bit of storage going. So what we're going to do is take you... Probably get some of the ground leveled out here more. That looks a little better. Maybe not. No, that looks okay. Alright, let's find an area for storage and crafting. We got the house. I don't want the house and crafting area to be too close. Maybe we'll do it over here, actually. Hmm. No. That seems too low. Maybe we'll... Oh, boy. Right here. We're gonna do it right here. Uh, well, let's go get the rested bonus, actually. As silly as it sounds, it doesn't last long, but it increases stamina regen, so stamina regen is really nice for building. So, yeah. There we go. Got the rested bonus. Uh, I guess we'll do this. Bam. Nice. Seven. Invalid placement. Don't even try to tell me that. I need a workbench over here. Well, let's put down a workbench then. There. Didn't realize I needed a workbench to 
raise the ground. It's kind of silly. Okay. can raise and flatten the ground that might be way too high I don't like that. I don't know why it's not going up. Should be though. There we go. See now it flattened out. And that's also not going up. Neither is that. So. Praise you. There's you. There we go. Let's get in these cracks here. We'll raise it some more. Hey. There we go. Also, I can just not do that because it needs a roof. All right, here we go. Yeah, I just kind of thought about it, actually. Could I go... Because I know that there's a class called the Berserker, which... Basically, I don't think he uses stamina, so yeah. Who needs stamina regen when you don't use stamina? Is that for flattened? Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Let's flatten this out a little bit. And uh, let's maybe go here and do that. That's perfect. The pathing. I don't actually know what the making of the paths do, but there we go. This is all pathened out now. Very nice. <clears throat> so now, put that away. Whoa. Why do I seem so much faster? Right. There we go, because pathening actually increases speed.
So. I need an area to put my beehives. So, where else to put? Where else should I put them? But right there. Perfect. Now, hmm. so that's a flint axe. How much wood do I have? Only 66 wood? That's it? Nothing else in here? Nope, just some food in here. Okay. Okay. So I need to gather wood fast, so... That means we're actually... That's kind of what I use this class for. So I can go to you and just go... Hit R... Smash through trees. Go away. But yeah. Oh boy. Boy, these, uh... Apparently, that is... A lot of damage that knocking down a tree can do. Whoops. Please go away. Please. Thank you. Just over here trying to cut down some trees. Alright guys, so I'm going to go ahead and chop down some trees, get some wood, start building. And yeah. We will, uh, we'll see where we get to. So I will bring you guys back in just a moment. I didn't actually hit the record button, unfortunately, but, uh, I just got raided by, um, a bunch of gray dwarfs, so that was an interesting fight. Luckily, the warlock is super overpowered to a point, and, uh, I was able to defend them, but so far... Here's what we got. We have our area for storage. So what this is, is it's going to be like a four room house with storage in the center. As you can see, I already have a layer up here for where chests will go as well as down here. I probably won't need that many chests, but you know, we'll see. Um... <coughs> And in here, we're going to have, obviously, one for workbench and all its upgrades. One for the forge, I think it's called, and all its upgrades. And then one for the other two. So, it's going to be quite interesting. Um, yeah, I'm only making the outer wall one high. But, as you can tell, the inner one will probably be higher than that. So for now, we're going to see what happens. And I have a feeling this is going to look like somewhat of a castle by the time it's done. With the smaller, the shorter centerpiece and then like taller building areas or taller like pillar corners. So just wanted to bring you in for an update on what's going on. I have harvested an exceedingly high amount of wood so far. I still have about 269 in my inventory, which will not be enough. Um, I did die because uh, trees. I had a tree fall on me right here. So that was funny. And uh, I already have my wood cutting up to 27. So yeah, it's getting there. It's going by pretty quick. 
And uh, so far, looks like it's going to turn out amazingly. So I'll bring you guys back here in a little while. I'm going to go ahead and try to finish it up before another storm comes and almost destroys the whole thing. I got to get some roofs on it. So we will see. We'll see where it goes and we'll see what happens. But so far, I am excited. So yeah, BRPs, peeps. All right, guys. Well, here we are. It's not as fancy as I thought it was going to be, but that's probably my fault because I made it even by odd. It's 14 by 9, which is kind of silly. But I didn't really count because I wasn't really caring too much. But here you go. Here is what it looks like inside now. So we have our auto chest for depositing stuff. We have started our storage up here. We have stone flint. All the woods will go in here. Got the leather scraps and the deer hide with their trophies. Dandelions. That stuff. Bones and feathers. Seeds. Over here we have the like fruits kind of thing. And then in here we have the meats. So now let's go ahead and take a look at the other areas. So we have one room here, another one here, and then these two are actually going to be open. So it technically is divided because of that, but we're going to keep it more open on the front, closed off on the back. And I thought it would just be fun to mess with this a little bit. So we have one, two facing that way and two facing this way and then three. So yeah. It's not bad. I like how it looks. And of course, it is raining. Which isn't really starting to surprise me. It seems like it rains every other day. But yeah, I mean, we have... Also, we have in here the hard antlers and my coins that I've found so far. Um, eventually, I'm going to have to... Actually, I can probably do that now, huh? God... There we go. So. And by you, we have this. And that. And now we can actually use this one. So there we go. And if I come over to here, that should auto deposit right into the one with the wood. I know I'm going to have to have like a small area for equipment storage and I may put that in one of these corners here, but I have not decided yet. Um, up in the house, we're obviously going to expand this house out a little bit. It just does not work being this small, but uh, yeah, for now, this is what it's going to be. So, we're going to go ahead and leave it off on this episode there. We got raided, which unfortunately I didn't even have time to hit the record button with how sudden it kind of appeared. Mainly because I was actually out here deforesting the forest, which definitely did a very good job of. Um, and yeah, we had to run back and start killing stuff because our base was getting destroyed. But for now, time to switch back to our warlock class, be who we're supposed to be. So yeah, we have that. We have... The building of our house, which, let's see. Oh, yeah. See, here we go. We have this little TP hut area, which is kind of cool. I really actually like this. Um, if it were 
even, it'd be even cooler, but, you know, gotta play with the hands we're dealt, and unfortunately, I dealt this to myself, so, yeah, good time, fun time, we got that done, we got it all separated, so now we won't have any issues, because I tend to have a lot of issues when it comes to, um, well, when it comes to giving enough space for everything to, for all the crafting stations, so it looks like we should have plenty of room now. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and leave it off there, guys. I hope you guys all have a good afternoon. Don't forget that I do stream over on Twitch. Actually, when this goes live, I will be streaming, so... Hope to see you guys over there, and I hope you guys all have a good day. See you later.